52 Super Series is kind of like the Premier League of sailing. Apart from the America's Cup, which is doing its own thing, this is where it's at as far as monohull racing goes. It doesn't get any better, it doesn't get any faster, and doesn't get any more professional than what we're doing here at the moment. Competition format this year um, has run over five events through Europe and all races to count. So first place is one point and tenth ten points and it's the one with the least points at the end of these five events wins the series. Boats are 52 feet, carbon fibre, weighing around 7,500 kilos, 13 crew on board. We can use any designer we like. You're given a the dimensions, within those dimensions you can do what you like with the boat and you can do pretty much what you like down below with the boat as far as the systems go and that's a lot of what we're looking at now, trying to gain seconds. You'll see in good waves and good wind we'll hit sort of 20, 25 knots, you know, sitting at 20 knots quite happily downwind. The biggest technique is getting off the start line well, fast and being able to hold a lane for, for a long time. We always say we can hold a lane for three or four minutes and we've had a, a pretty good start, but it's so, so tight. Generally, it's two races a day, races lasting sort of an hour and a half, two hours, over 10 races. The series features two different race formats, one where teams race upwind and then downwind between marks, and another coastal course which challenges crews to deal with unpredictable wind and sea state as they sail between geographical landmarks. Both formats create a challenging race course with success dependent on each member of the crew performing under pressure in their own specific role. This is my third year sailing on Gladiator and I'm one of the trimmers, which means uh, adjusting the sails according to the wind. Well, I trim the upwind sails, uh, which are the jibs. It involves talking to the helmsman about angles that the boat is sailing into the wind. With the changing conditions, we had three or four jibs that they could go up. We don't take all of them on board, we normally take two so you're covered. Just making sure that we have the right tail up at the right time. There's two or three grinders on the boat and we effectively power the winches that help the sails go up and down. Pre-start, there's a lot of sails in and sails out. So you start off with five minutes of hard work and then you go upwind where you're using your body weight to make the boat go as fast as possible. But then the fun comes at the windward mark where you hoist the spinnaker, blast downwind and drop the spinnaker. So it's a good mixture of sort of tactical looking around the race course, but also hard work on the downwinds. I'm the bowman on Gladiator. Uh, that's the guy who's really in charge of the front of the boat. Changing sails, you're the eyes for the front of the boat, eyes for the helmsman. Uh, we wear a harness too, so anything that goes wrong up the rig, that's our responsibility to get up there and fix things and that's essentially it. The margin fair is really small out here. There's not much speed difference between the top and the bottom, so it really is making those incremental gains. I've been with the team for coming up to nine years, and my role in the team is to prepare, maintain, make sure the yacht's perfect for, uh, for each regatta. They're quite comparable in a, in a sense to a Formula One car, you know, when a, a Formula One car finishes the Grand Prix it's just doing, uh, the guys strip it apart, make sure that nothing's broken, there's no wear, there's no tear, and it's the same for us. We strip the boat apart, piece by piece, make sure everything's right. If you've had a good regatta, then, it, then it's quite easy. If you've had a tough regatta, then there's changes to be made and things get a little harder. Yeah, well, I've just you know, taken the opportunity to come here to uh... You know, Palmer and uh, do an event with the Gladiator uh, 52 team and it's yeah, so my role on the boat is to do the tactics, so I'm going to look after, you know, try and get the boat in a good spot at the start and then try and look after where we put it on the on the course and you know what modes we sail, so put ourselves on the right side of the fleet, or the correct side of the fleet and uh, try and make our lives a bit easier than uh, and, and actually be at the front rather than uh, battling it out right at the back. Yeah, I think the calibre of the fleet here is you know, pretty high as well, so you know, if you make a mistake, you, know, you really pay for it. Like any other sport, if you're not performing, then you're out, basically. But you know, the performance side of it is always analysed. We'll be having debriefs you know, after every race, analysing what we've done previously. And that will be a tactical analysis, a boat speed analysis, and then a crew manoeuvres debrief as well, looking how we can turn corners better, drop spinnakers, hoist spinnakers, everything else, you know, the kinetics in the boat and all of that carry on. We'll all be debriefed every day, just trying to find seconds here and there. Every day is a school day. I don't think anyone can come off the water and say they've sailed a perfect race. You're always pushing to be better.
At the moment, entering these regattas, we are a bit of a wild card. We're changing the team around a little bit, but certainly moving forward, we want to start getting on the podium at, at events. There's no point in being here if you're not wanting to win.